Kim Jong-un, pictured here on his horse, which kind of reminds me of Shearer's horse. Shira, Shira. Kim Jong, Kim Jong. Oh, I could fucking do that all day. Anyway. Kim Jong-un, supreme leader of North Korea, grandson of the original dear leader and founder of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, all-round dick-eating brutal dictator and human rights violator, chain-smoking lover of fatty indulgent foods, and most probably weird fucked up sex fetishes. I mean, I can't confirm the last one, but come on, he's the supreme leader. Is dead. Maybe. I, I don't know. He might be dead, apparently. More after this quick sponsor. Just 30 seconds, trust me. 30 seconds. With heaps of people now working from home, VPN security is pretty much a must-have. Virtual Shield is one of the easiest and fastest VPNs on the market. They can prevent prying eyes from spying on your online activities, protect your data, whether you're at home, in public, or even overseas, which, let's face it, nobody's overseas at the moment, but they can totally do that. They can even change your location. Sign up for a free 30-day trial to Virtual Shield and see what all the hype is about. You've got nothing to lose. The perils of Kim Jong-un's love for indulgent food. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's love for luxury food may have been the cause for his health problems, China Press reported. The report stated that the 36-year-old gained 40 kilograms within five years from 2013 to 2018. Standing at 170 centimetres tall, the North Korean leader is said to weigh in at 130 kilograms. According to analysts, his size is considered a symbol of authority in a country where people People don't have enough to eat. Hence, it is believed that his size could gain him respect. While he may believe that being a fat ass boss motherfucker will gain him respect, what it's cost him is a heart attack waiting to happen. After ballooning to 20 stone from gorging on Swiss cheese and burgers, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong, Kim Jong! was a heart attack waiting to happen as he gorged himself on a kingly diet of cheese, expensive steaks, and up to 10 bottles of wine a night. 10 bottles of wine a night? Fucking hell. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I can do two bottles of wine a night, but the acid reflux is palpable. I mean, that's probably because I spend like $6 on a bottle of wine and it's made out of, you know, fucking petrol byproduct. You get what you pay for, I guess. Kim's allegedly extraordinary appetite has come under the spotlight amid rumours he has undergone a botched heart surgery, being left in either a vegetative state or dead. Rumours seem to be all there is to go by at this stage. While there's been speculation that the North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un Kim Jong! Kim Jong! has indeed passed away, perhaps during surgery while his surgeon was in all likelihood forced to operate at gunpoint. <laughs> More recent reports state that he is just chilling at a fancy resort and that he's indeed alive and well. Firstly, let's take a look at the rumours circulating about Kim Jong-un's alleged demise. Kim Jong-un health status. What happens if North Korean dictator dies? Speculation is growing about the fate of Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong, Kim Jong. <laughs> if he dies, here's what's likely to happen next. The rumors were first reported by CNN after the North Korean dictator missed the celebration of his grandfather's birthday on April 15. He'd been seen four days before that at a government meeting. We don't yet know whether these reports are credible. Mr. Kim keeps a tight control on information coming in and out of the hermit nation and any absences from official state media often spark speculation about his health. Although recent reports from South Korea claim the North Korean leader is alive and well and has been staying at a resort, either recovering from sickness or being isolated because of Kuf Kuf concerns, even though apparently North Korea has said it has no confirmed cases of coronavirus, which is totally and completely believable. Satellite images show his private train parked at said resort, which has been taken as evidence that he is indeed alive and well. Kim Jong-un is caught alive and well and has been staying in the resort town of Wonsan for some two weeks now. Supporting this claim, US-based think tank 38 North published satellite photographs from the past week, showing a train parked at a station reserved for the Kim family in Wonsan. Anyway, the whole situation remains shady as fuck, and given that South Korea are treading very carefully to avoid accusations of destabilising the regime, and that North Korea still haven't released any photographic evidence of his well-being, who knows what to think? Whatever the outcome, it's raised questions of who would take over should he indeed have passed away. A power struggle behind the scenes would undoubtedly take place, and some believe his sister Kim Yo-jong could be, quote, the fourth man for the job. 
Wait, that's not the right image. Nope, still not it. Ah, oh, shit, hang on. That's the one. Stand by for upcoming Kim Yo Jong hentai, boys. <laughs> and the potential for a woman. <laughs> the, the women. <laughs> the, and the potential for a woman to sit on the North Korean dictatorial throne has some idiots even shoving a feminist agenda down our throats to go with it. Like this cunt. North Korea is going to have a woman leader before the United States of America. Let that sink in. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, Tom Dangora. We're talking about a brutal third world communist family dynasty who have apparently offed outcast family members by feeding them to packs of dogs, launching missiles at them, and having them snuffed out by teams of international assassins. Not to mention all the concentration camps, famines, and torture of their own civilians. I mean, I guess it could be worse. Hillary Clinton could be in charge. It's believed that Kim Jong-un has three children, the eldest of which was born in 2010 and is therefore too young to rule. This leaves Kim Yo-jong, his sister, as a likely contender for the leadership position. Over the last seven years, she has risen to prominence as the most important figure in the regime after her brother. The two are reportedly close. They went to school together in Switzerland, and as vice director of the party's propaganda department, she has worked alongside her brother maintaining family power. As vice director of the party's propaganda department, Kim Yo-jong is a strong contender to replace Kim Jong-un as the country's leader, and speculation suggests she could be just as bad, if not worse than her brother. It'd be interesting to see how the super woke women's rights crowd interpret a Kim Yo-jong dictatorship. Boo for the super brutal dynastic tyrant, or yay for women's representation in the third world communist dictatorship industry. Anyway, that's all. I'll catch you in the next video. Recession! Yeah.